Hey sunshines, welcome back to my channel. You guys know I don't often do favorites videos and I don't typically like to do favorites videos, but once in a while I do like the idea of just sitting here with you guys and talking to you about stuff that I'm currently loving. So today I'm just gonna share with you guys some of my favorite things at the moment. And it's not just about beauty, I want this to be a little bit more personal and about my lifestyle as well. So I'm going to try to include just my favorite things without it being a super long video that nobody wants to watch. But if you do like it and you want me to continue making videos like this one, please press the like button or just subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. So just click that red button right down below so that you can see me again and stay updated with my videos or just go to my channel and click subscribe if you like me. The first thing that I've really been into is journaling. I know it may sound weird to some of you for an adult to have a journal, but hear me out. Okay, pause right here. This portion on this topic of journaling was actually three minutes long, so if you're interested in hearing my story on this, click on the screen if you're on mobile or go to the info bar below and the link will be right there. Since we just spoke about something a little more on the serious side, I really wanna share with you guys my favorite sweater. It's a cardigan, I mean, we're in fall right now, it doesn't matter where you live, whether you live in the East Coast or the West Coast, we can all wear sweaters at some point. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been wearing this cardigan right here a lot. It's that type of cardigan where you wear with everything and anything. It doesn't have any buttons, it's just a very comfortable, loose fitting cardigan. I have two of them. The one I'm wearing is a gray one and it's from Urban Outfitters. And I got it in brown as well. And as you can see, it's kind of like an oversized cardigan, even though it's a size small, but it's meant to have that loose fit. The brand is BDG from Urban Outfitters. I find that I have a lot of stuff from this brand unintentionally. I don't think I've ever shared this with you guys, but I'm a huge tea lover. I drink about four cups of tea a day. And especially now that the weather is getting colder, I enjoy it so much. So I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite ones right now. This is the one I've been drinking like every day. This is the Raishi Peach Blossom White Tea. I am a huge fan of white tea. I have quite the collection of white teas. When I found out about the benefits, especially for the skin, I just collected a bunch of white teas and every time I see a new one, I just buy it. But this one is so freaking good because it's not just white tea. It's not plain white tea, it's peach blossom white tea. So it has a peachy taste to it and it's just so good. You guys have to try it. I'm currently liking quite a few new things um, in my beauty routines, but the first one has to be this brush right here. This is called Doll 10 and it's a spinning brush. Can you hear that? It actually spins kind of like an exfoliating brush that you use on your face. Now I got this at Beautycon. I didn't buy this and I don't think I would have purchased something like this if it wasn't given to me for free. And I was at Beautycon with my manager and I remember like us going through um, the beauty sections and my comment to her was actually downplaying this brush. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, now they have a brush that spins what is this for lazy people? But then I brought it home and I tried it and I really like it. And you would think that you can just take a stippling brush just like this one and blend in your foundation, right? But this brush spins and you just kind of move it as it's spinning, like this. You just move it and glide it around your face to blend it in and you do get quite a special blend with this. Do I think people have to buy it? No, because you can still get great results with a regular stippling brush. It's just quite an experience and it comes off like this for you to wash it. But I think it's a really cool brush and I think that it really has a special blend that gives me a much more flawless look. So I just wanted to share that with you guys just so you know in case you're interested. Now if you're into beauty blenders, guys, I mean this beauty blender right here is the bomb. This is by Real Techniques. I am a huge fan of their brushes, but I've never tried their sponge. I also got this one at Beautycon. It's in the shape of a diamond and it has a marble design. So that is totally me. I mean, look at my table back here. It's a marble table and it really goes with my aesthetic. So what more can I say? Now I'm gonna share with you guys some of my new favorite things when it comes to my skincare, but I don't wanna share too much because I really wanna save it for an official skincare video. These wipes right here, this is by Shea Moisture. These are the African Black Soap Clarifying 
facial wipes with tea tree and calendula. I love these wipes so much. It's meant for oily skin tones and blemish prone skin. I don't typically ever have a, like favorite wipes because I don't, I mean wipes aren't something that I often buy. And the reason why I started using these is because when I work out or when I go to the gym, most of the time I don't go straight home and I also don't shower at the gym because I don't like doing that. But I do like to carry something with me to either wash my face or refresh my face or wipe my face down. And these wipes have been perfect for that. And I really love the ingredients in these because it's acne fighting ingredients. So it's just saving my skin from the trouble ahead of time. And I really, really like them. Because there's so much right now that has changed and that I'm really loving and I want to share with you guys and it wouldn't be enough in this video. So I'm only going to share these three items that have been super consistent for me for three different purposes. This is a Tata Harper purifying facial cleanser and I absolutely love this stuff. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but it's almost to the bottom. It's very luxurious and non-toxic and super duper natural. I absolutely love this stuff. It's in a glass bottle. It's so clean and when I received it, I was like, man, I really, really want to want to like this and I'm very picky with skincare because if I put on the wrong thing tomorrow, I will have breakouts, whether it's a natural thing or not. So I'm always afraid of using new things and switching up my cleansers or moisturizers, which I don't do often, but I really ended up loving this cleanser. I typically like to use it before doing my makeup, during the daytime. So it goes on my hand like a cream, but as soon as I put it on my wet face, it starts to turn white, kind of like a diluted lotion. It doesn't feel like oil on your face. It doesn't feel like a cream. It doesn't feel like a actual soap, you know what I mean? But I love how my face looks, I love how it feels, it feels super clean and it's non-toxic. It has absolutely the best ingredients ever. So I really recommend it for those of you who want to invest into something that's really great. Next in my skincare, I'm really, really obsessed with this May Lindstrom Honey Mud. You can use it as a cleanse or a mask. And it is made with honey. It's literally what it sounds, honey mud. It has this creamy, honey-like mud feel to it, and it's so, so, so amazing on the skin. I use it both ways to cleanse and a mask, so I put it on my face and leave it on for like 10 minutes, and then I'll rinse it off, and my face is super clean and really nice, moisturized, and my pores are like so smooth. My face looks like it was airbrushed. I've had this for a little while now, and I've used it at least 20 times. So you can really get a lot of use out of this stuff because you only need so little of it for your entire face. And again, this is another item that's more on the luxury pricey side, but it's totally worth it if you guys want to invest into something that is completely organic with awesome ingredients that your skin can actually benefit from. And lastly, for my skincare, my new favorite eye cream is this one right here. I use it every night. I don't want to butcher the name. I think it's called Am Aroma Repair Caviar Eye Cream. If you guys are familiar with my skincare videos, I have really been into eye creams since about two years ago is actually when I started using them and my eyes have improved so much. Prior to that, I've never used an eye cream. I didn't think it was necessary because I read somewhere that it's not just for aging women. It's great as a preventative when you're in your mid 20s or early 20s. It's okay to use an eye cream. The area under our skin is super sensitive. And when we're young, we're often very rough with that area because we don't know what we're doing. I got this one at a spa here in New York. I don't know if it's a fully organic spa, but when I went in there, there was like so many stuff that I, so many brands that I was already familiar with, makeup and skincare. And this is the skincare that they use in their spa. And even though prior to this eye cream, I've been using others consistently, I did see a different type of improvement with this one. My eyes weren't as puffy the next morning. My skin under my eyes just looked much more awake than it usually is. Usually I have to do so much to get that skin under my eyes to look smooth. That's just how it is for me. And with this, I saw improvement the first day after using it. So I just kept using it and I really like it. How crazy is it that it's actually dark behind me now? I've been sitting here for a long time, it seems. These two products I've been using lately I've had these for a while actually, but I didn't actually start using them until that recent video that I just made, the previous one about the diagnostic tool um, from Shea Moisture. 
So it suggested this line for me and I was like, you know what, let me give it a shot. Let me try it out. I tried it a few times. I really like it. What I noticed with these products is that it's really great for dry hair, which is what I have. And you wouldn't think it, but the shampoo itself, it's super, super moisturizing. And I do suggest you guys try it if you have dry hair. If you have oily hair, maybe not so much, but dry hair for sure. I love co-washing, especially during the winter. So I always love finding conditioners that are not too heavy because you don't want a heavy conditioner for co-washing because it's just gonna add buildup and not really cleanse. And these two are amazing. Specifically for co-washing, I love the rosemary one. This is from a brand called Pure Lights. I love the ingredients of this. It's so pure and so simple and so refreshing. So you're not gonna get a ton of moisture from this, but it is very cleansing and it has a slip to it. So it's really great. If you guys are familiar with my twist out video, I have featured this in my twist out video because I actually don't just use it as a co-washing conditioner or a conditioner itself. I also leave it in my hair. And no, you're not technically supposed to do that based on what it says in the bottle with conditioner being the second step to cleansing. I have been doing this for years. I've always left certain conditioners in and I use them as a leave-in as well, depending on the conditioner. I have a good instant with these things, I guess. The reason I even thought to buy this papaya version of the Pure Life conditioner is because I was watching the show Friends, randomly, and I saw in one of the episodes that Monica and Chandler were getting Rachel a date and Phoebe was also getting Rachel a date and they kind of got competitive with each other on whose date is better. Rachel ended up not liking any of them because she was so annoyed with her friends and there was this one particular guy that had super soft hair and Monica begged her to just touch his hair. She touched his hair. She asked him, what is it that you put in your hair? Is it some, some type of special conditioner? And he said, yeah, it's papaya extract. So I was like, oh wow, papaya extract. I never really thought of that. I looked up papaya extract. Long story short, I went on iHerb.com and I saw this papaya conditioner with papaya extract from a brand I already like and it says it's softening and repairing and now I use it as my leave-in conditioner that I use to refresh my hair the next day and the next day on like second day hair and third day hair and it works perfectly great because it's not weighing my hair down, it's just refreshing it and it smells so freaking good. I also want to share with you guys one of my new favorite songs. I don't know if the song itself is new, but the band is definitely new to me. It's from a band called Arizona. And I'll only show you a snippet of it because I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube playing music. They're very strict with that. I've got cold, hot, cold hands. I make you want to be where I am. If you only knew my plans Oh, if you only knew who I am Late at night I lie awake just thinking about your pretty face ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. quite a few other stuff that I wanted to show you guys but I'm gonna save it because I don't want to bombard you with so much stuff I hope this was enough for you guys I know it's enough for me and I'm gonna leave it at that because then this video would be so long and I won't even want to edit it and you won't want to watch it with that being said I will see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching and subscribing bye sunshines